All right, so you've probably heard all the hype about the Tesla Powerwall 3. Maybe you've seen all the sleek marketing videos, or maybe your neighbor Jerry just won't shut up about how cool his is. But here's what nobody's actually telling you. What happens after you've installed over 100 of these units? What breaks, what works, and most importantly, should you buy one? I'm Nick from Formi Solar, and unlike most companies that just sell you a system and then disappear, we handle everything in-house, the sales, installation, and the service. Which means if anything happens to the system, we're gonna be the ones to show up and repair it. Today, I'm going to give you the absolute truth about the Tesla Powerwall after installing hundreds of these units throughout Southern California. Some of what I'm about to share may surprise you. And even though we're huge fans of Tesla, some of what I might say may not necessarily match the marketing that you see about them. But hey, that's why you're here, right? Let's get into it. As I mentioned earlier, we've installed hundreds of Powerwall systems throughout Southern California. Specifically, we've installed over 50 Powerwall 3s since they became available to us in our area. The good thing is, we're not just the installers. Should things go wrong, we're also the same crew that goes back and repairs things, so we can tell you end to end what happens. That way, you're able to understand what happens throughout the whole life cycle and not just what happens when it's put on the wall for the first time. We've also installed plenty of other systems and battery systems specifically as well. Whether it's a Franklin or an Enphase system or possibly an EG4, we've done hundreds of those as well. So it's not just about experience with one product. So first, let's talk about one of the most popular features that we've encountered to date when it comes to the Tesla Powerwall. Tesla was the first manufacturer to really come out with the transfer switch or aka meter collar that allows installers to bypass having to install a backup loads panel and instead allows you to use the main panel of your home as the main backup loads panel instead of having to install a secondary one. That alone saves not only thousands of dollars for the homeowners but it can also shave almost a day off the installation for an installation company. It's no secret to us that when it comes to battery systems Tesla has one of the most affordable systems out there relative to the the amount of kilowatt hours that you get for storage. In fact, we credit them with when being one of the very first ones to send a product to market that was designed to be more affordable than not. And as a result, lots of folks have been able to adopt this technology and save tons on their bills. Now, for the folks out there who are DIYers, the great thing is, is that Tesla has made it easy enough for that to happen. However, you still have to be quite the electrician or at least quite the tradesperson to make it right. So what most people find is between DIYing or paying an installer do it, at the end of the day, it really comes out to be most of a wash for most people because there's always small little problems that they have to come back and fix. Whereas installers who do this for a long time kind of get it right the first time. And so there's less back and forth. Another great thing about Tesla is that they've built out this whole ecosystem around their products. Not only can you grab data about your vehicle charging, you can also see what your house is consuming or producing and how the battery comes into play and all of that. So that ecosystem is super attractive and quite frankly works really well and their app is top notch. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the bad. And you know, to be honest, there isn't a lot of bad things to say about the Tesla Powerwall. So first of all, that would be software glitches. Generally speaking, when it comes to installing and commissioning the system, they actually work out quite well. But sometimes you can have units that are missing updates or perhaps there is a firmware thing that hasn't happened yet and we are catching those after the system is turned on and we start seeing problems. If there was less of that or perhaps a little bit more instruction up front, we could probably avoid some of those things. So the second point I wanna bring up, and honestly, this isn't really a horrible bad thing, but we do have some customers who've complained about it, is there seems to be a humming noise that the battery unit generates. Most of our customers don't even notice it, but we do have some customers that say that the humming noise can keep them up at nights at times, especially if we're installing outside a window or something like that. So the third and final Final point when it comes to the bad, when it comes to Tesla, is really more about the problems that arise because they are pushing out a lot of new products. Because of that, utility companies and other regulatory bodies aren't necessarily always as well informed as they could be, and that causes problems for end users down the line. Fortunately, as installers, we step in and we handle those things. Quite frankly, we find that anytime Tesla introduces something new, there is a period of catch up and adjustment that has to happen because the system doesn't always either A, perform exactly as intended and it needs to be adjusted or B, regulatory bodies are not familiar enough with it and so they come out with a lot of different requirements or possibly even restrictions that may hamper the use of that system. So that all being said, this really brings us into the third part of what it's like to work with the Tesla Powerwall system. And this is not necessarily so much the product itself, but it is probably the most widely known and understood thing about working with Tesla in general 
and that's the communication. Namely, the communication is actually quite poor. We love their products, we love our account manager. When we're able to talk to them, it's fantastic. However, timeliness has been an issue, not only on the installation side, but we've got customers who will call Tesla support, and it may be several weeks before they even get a call back. This honestly isn't really anything new. If you look up any Tesla review, you're probably gonna see a couple of one-star reviews regarding their communication ability. For the most part, it's generally true. Their communication could use a lot of improvement. They could be a lot more proactive in getting service technicians out to the field or even getting answers back to us installers. Anyhow, those are really just the main things that we felt customers should know when it comes to working with a Tesla Powerwall system. Should you need to go through the RMA or warranty process with Tesla. They're generally pretty decent to work with when it comes to owning up to the fact that it was their equipment that failed. The part that gets challenging is actually getting that unit replaced, shipped out to you, and then installed in a timely manner. We have customers that are still waiting upwards three to four months just to receive a replacement part so we can go out there and take care of it. They are just that busy and that's the level of support we can expect. Okay, so I know we've talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly and with all of that being said a big question that everyone has now is well then who should be buying a tesla powerwall system first off we have the most obvious candidates if you are starting out net new where you don't have either solar or a battery and you're going to install both on your home going with the tesla powerwall system not only allows you to save on cost because it itself is a great affordable option but because of the way it's designed, it also allows you to avoid other costs like a backup loads panel, which certain other manufacturers still require. So for that reason alone, and you're starting net new, that's a great place to start and Tesla's great for that. One more thing, if you happen to be already a part of the Tesla ecosystem and you're considering now solar and storage for your home, going with a Tesla solution is kind of a no-brainer. Choose that if you value being within that same ecosystem and you wanna be able to manage everything through one app because it works great. So those are reasons why you might wanna consider a Tesla Powerwall 3 system for your home, but there are also a couple reasons why you may wanna consider a different brand. So for example, we talked first and foremost about the service. If service is big for you and getting answers in a timely manner and all of that, there are definitely companies like, you know, Franklin and Enphase that seem to do a better job. Beyond that though, if you are looking to add a generator or want some better compatibility with other non-Tesla things, other systems seem to play better or at least more naturally with things like backup generators. That is also something that you're gonna to wanna to consider as well. So to Today, we talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to Tesla Powerwall systems. Granted, some of the things leave much to be desired, such as communication, but overall, we really love this hardware. We love the manufacturer. Products they create are truly quality, and we would easily continue installing these products for the foreseeable future. Yes, there are customers who would probably do better with a different solution given their different circumstances, but overall, the vast majority of customers that come to us are great candidates for Tesla Powerwall walls and unless it's something else specific we stand behind that product 100 now one thing you want to make sure you watch out for and you're sure of is making sure that your installer actually has experience installing and servicing these if your installer does not service the alternative is to call tesla and have them send out one of their teams and there's no telling when they might be able to get a crew out to you having an installer that also does service means you get the fastest service response possible if you're looking for an installation company like this and you're in southern california hit the link below for a free quote so to put this in terms that are more relatable the tesla powerwall 3 is kind of like that friend you have who's smart funny and brilliant, but then never really responds to your texts. So when it works, which is most of the time, it's fantastic, provides great value, and keeps your lights on while the neighbors are off. But these systems are not perfect, and anybody who tells you it is, either doesn't know what they're talking about or just hasn't installed enough of them to know. Look, we've installed hundreds of these systems because they are one of the best options out there. The key is knowing what you're getting into and having an installer that knows how to handle the hiccups when they happen. And trust me, with any solar or battery system, there will be hiccups. That's exactly why we built Formi Solar differently. We don't just install and disappear. We're here for the good and the bad for the lifetime of your system. I'm Nick from Formi Solar, and if you feel like you got some value from this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps us educate more and more people on the ins and outs of solar. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.